Hey guys, Jared back. So I got a cool app for you today. This might be helpful for some users out there. And before we get started, if you do hear some background noises, I do apologize. My wife decided to do some laundry before I started my video. Anyways, <laughs> so the application we're looking at today is called Push Notification Fixer. Now there is a root version and a non-root version, so don't worry for those of you out there that aren't uh, brave enough to take that brave step. Uh, but regardless, what this does is, and this might, act might actually be really useful for those of you that um, have a lot of different messaging applications out there, um, and perhaps you're having some issues with those push notifications showing up to your device on time. Uh, so basically what this does is, from what I understand, um, Android basically sends Google's servers um, a pulse, a little heartbeat, a, a packet of data uh, on Wi-Fi every 15 minutes and on data about every 28 minutes. And that's why sometimes it takes a long time for you to receive push notifications. Maybe your friends say to you, hey man, you know, I, I sent you a message a while ago and I still haven't heard from you. That's why. Um, and sometimes what might happen, depending on the carrier or your Wi-Fi router as an example, it might actually end up killing that connection altogether and you will never get that notification until you actually open up the application to search for the um, notifications. So what this does is, and I'll go ahead and uh, jump into my app drawer here, and actually I'll open up the um, non-root one. Um, and actually what I suppose I could do is probably zoom out a little bit for you guys here. Um, so basically what this does is it allows you to set that actual heartbeat. So as you can see, it gives us the option for both uh, mobile heartbeat interval as well as Wi-Fi heartbeat interval. Um, so we'll go ahead and click on mobile, and now you've got uh, as you can see, anywhere from one minute um, all the way up to the 28 minutes, which is the Android default. So this is what my phone is set to right now. Um, or I can choose the recommended the, um, the recommended setting by the uh, app developer. Or if I really wanted to make sure that I always receive my notifications, you know, within a minute of them uh, arriving to the servers, um, I can go ahead and click on drastic if I really wanted to. Um, same thing with heartbeat from one minute all the way up to 15 minutes, actually, which is the um, Android default. Now, uh, a lot of you guys are probably thinking that this might end up uh, running through battery. Well, the developer claims on his XDA page, which I'll be posting links in the description to both the rooted, non-rooted version as well as the XDA developer page because it has a lot of um, frequently asked questions that explains a lot in depth about um, the application and if and how it drains your battery, which apparently he claims it doesn't, but I haven't been using it long enough to really um, tell you if that's true or not. Um, so this is the interesting part. This is the non-root um, application here, and then we can go ahead into the rooted version, um, and of course you get the same things, mobile heartbeat interval, Wi-Fi heartbeat interval, but then you get something here that's called set heartbeat intervals now. So I can, I guess, set those heartbeat intervals now. Um, and then just below it, you have tools. So for GTOC service monitor, which is uh, able to help you um, debug those push notifications. And if you want to uh, uninstall this application, you would have to restore default heartbeats. Now, I don't really understand this because um, for the non-rooted version, it doesn't have that uh, feature to restore the default. So I'm not sure if you're going to be using the, the uh, non-root version once you set up your heartbeat intervals and you decide you don't like it, you uninstall install it, um, if it resets it back to default, that might be a question for the developer. But um, if you are really having those issues and you're kind of like pulling your hair out, um, this might be a really great um, application for you to try out. I mean, worst case scenario, it does nothing. Um, anyways, guys, like I said, I'll be posting those three links in the description below the video. Believe it or not, but the applications are actually completely free in the Google Play Store. There are no advertisements, nothing. Um, so that's pretty cool. All he asks for is a donation if you really find um, that app useful. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching as always, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.